Matters. I'm Garrett. And I'm Ashley. And we're going to start this week off with a piece from Miss Carla from the cafeteria with her love about her culture's food. Well, my name is Carla Rivera. I'm the Char Nutrition Manager here at the high school. I came to United States 16 years ago. Uh, the reason I came here, it was uh, after my husband, uh, he was finished his uh, master's degree. He didn't have a job. And he got a, a supervisor position at the chicken plant. And that's how we ended in Delaware, thanks to the chicken plants. And for not having a job over there uh, available, uh, when I finished college too, that's why I moved with him. Carla Ross Rivera is the head nutritionist at Cesar Rodney High School. She's an immigrant from Puerto Rico and her story is one of many in America and her impact on the high school is immeasurable. I see it in the menu all the time. You know, we have like a taco day, we had, a, you know, the Asian meal and I know there's like more of that culture in here in the school. That's why I want to add something from my roots, like something that kids they can learn and you know, an experiment too. One of the items that I share in here at the school, it was the rice and beans. And there's a say always in between Puerto Rican, we are like the rice and beans. This means we are everywhere. Um, and that's one of the things like, I wanna like show them like how to eat this food, for example, together. Normally, uh, all the kids that I know, they eat the rice by themselves or they eat like the baked beans by the cell and I just showing them a different ways so they can try it and it's gonna be good. 49% of food workers are minorities and 19% of those workers have Hispanic slash Latino roots. And of the entire agriculture industry, 79% of the workers are immigrants of some kind. The good way they all like, same thing. They, some of them, they never had uh, the items that we made in here or items I make at home. And you know, Every time that we do a potluck in here, for example, with employees, I bring something and they always like, like to try something different. And they always like now, like I have employees that say that when I go to eat, I just try to look some like a Spanish restaurant because I want to try what you brought. And it's always like a good way to learn other cultures and other uh, uh, food. And I'm sure like, for example, I have one of my employees, she was so interested in Puerto Rico and she went over there like she made a trip with her family and she loved it now she's looking to buy the house over there <laughs> um, you know it's always good to learn about new cultures there has been a lot of inventions throughout history let's look at the home security system many inventions have been heard of like the light bulb and the cotton gin but there are many other inventions that are used daily are overlooked because they were invented by African-American inventors. For example, the first home security system. In the mid-60s, when people would go off to travel, they would leave their homes vulnerable, even with the high crime rate. The first home security system was co-invented by Mary Britton Brown in 1966. Mrs. Brown was born in 1922 in Jamaica, Queens, New York. She started off her career as a nurse, and her husband, Albert Brown, was an electronics technician. Due to Mrs. Brown's schedule, she wouldn't get home until late, and it was the same with her husband, meaning she would be home alone late at night. Out of fear of being vulnerable in a high crime neighborhood, Brown decided to find a way to see who was at her front door. In 1966, with her husband's help, she created the first home security system, which consisted of four peepholes, a sliding camera, television monitors, and two-way microphones. Together, the items created a closed circuit television system, also known as CCTV. When Wi-Fi entered the consumer market in 1997, cameras could transmit video streams wirelessly at any time. Throughout the 2000s, more services were introduced that allowed users to monitor their homes remotely. 
the evolution of security from the 1960s and the 2000s have changed the safety of thousands of homes. We have Miss Mary Brown to thank. Well, that's all we have for this week. I'm Ashley. And I'm Garrett. Go, Go Riders. Riders.